Yeah, my, uh, you know, kind of my role with the team as an assistant was, you know, recruiting coordinator. Uh, so I would do a lot of the, you know, initial steps in recruiting, identifying, starting conversations, getting them on campus, setting up the visits, um, scouting. So I do most of the scouting of all the opponents with Caleb, um, you know, scouting reports, all the things that go into that. And then obviously on the field, a lot of my work was done with the attacking group, the forwards, the attacking mids, the wide forwards. Uh, in terms of their skills development, in terms of the movement of the team, you know, I did most of my work on the attacking side. Uh, so I think, you know, the, all those experiences gave me, you know, a lot of voice in front of the team. So I got to talk to the team a lot, you know, work with a lot of the players. So from that perspective, I think they're used to hearing me and understand kind of how I operate as a coach and how I do things. So I think from that point of view, you know, there's not going to be much of a transition, you know, along with having the team for, you know, about two months last spring running it while Kayla was with the Olympic team. I think those two things are, have made this transition pretty smooth, especially when you look at like players' perspective and you know what they can expect and what they know. They have a good understanding of you know what's going to happen. Yeah, I think the transition has gone well over this last month. Um, you know, I've got to get out, you know, meet some of the donors. Uh, you know, met with some alumni, met with a lot of people on campus, just the kind of you know, get feedback and just encourage them that mostly things are going to be ran the same way as they have been previously. Uh, you know, I'm not going to change a winning formula. I'm just going to continue it. But, you know, it's been been nice getting out and meeting some of the people a little bit more than maybe I did as an assistant. Um, you know, the transition here in the office has been, been good. Got the staff hired and everything settled that way. We've been out recruiting a bit. So we've We've kept busy, but uh, you know that's probably the best thing to do in the transition is stay busy and not, uh, you know, just keep moving along the way we've been going about this the last seven years. Most part, you know, we we believe this uh, blueprint we created, you know, been working. So we're gonna follow that line. Uh, you know, there'll be tweaks, and most of the tweaks will be, you know, towards a little bit more of my personality and and those things, but. Uh, as far as on the field, we're going to play the same way, you know, and continue to get better at playing that way. Off season, you know, there'll be subtle tweaks to maybe the his off season program versus mine, but nothing real different, you know. Uh, a lot of it will just be maybe a few different ways I think we can go about accomplishing the same goals as we've had in the previous years. Yeah, I think Akron uh, is a unique place for uh, soccer in this country. It's uh, you know, the support we get is probably unheard of in most most Division One programs. You know, you, I know we may not always win the number one attendance, but I think if you look at percent capacity to what our stadium holds, I think we'd be number one every year. And that kind of shows the support in the community um, and the su support, more importantly, of the administration and the support staff of the school has in this program. and. You know, that makes it probably, the, you know, that alone probably is the reason why we can be the best program for soccer in America and all that. And when you add all that together, I mean, this is why, you know, kids come to Akron. This is why coaches want to come here and coach. And, you know, this is a special place in that regard. You know, the I thought we'd probably, be honest, with the recruiting process, face a little bit more you know, well, Caleb's leaving, how's it going to be? But in, you know, in reality, we haven't really run into any roadblocks. It's been, well, since you're staying, we know the style of play is going to be the same way. And, you know, the last couple of years, that's been our, our biggest recruitment is the way we play, how we go about it, how we develop players. And, you know, everyone knows, you know, that that's going to stay the same. So we have, you know, haven't hit in any, any trouble. The only thing with recruiting is you got to deal with the fans and patients versus what uh, us finding the best kid for the program. And, you know, that's what we spent a lot of time in the last month doing. There's been a couple commitments that we're very happy with. Um, and, you know, we have 
some good players we're going to go look at, but we're hoping to get the best players for our program and the level we need. And, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that want want to know where the kids are at right now, but, you know, they will be coming.